Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu, and for the ones that don't recognize me with a cap, I am the guy that three years ago sold his house, sold his company, sold literally everything he owned, and started to travel the world with his family while going all in into Bitcoin. So everything we sold, we converted into Bitcoin, and then we started to travel the world. Now, three years later, are still traveling the world all in crypto with my family we are visiting the Netherlands for two weeks before we go to Spain coming to you now from the forest in my hometown in Venlo today guys we are going to talk about the Bitcoin price I'm going to show you Moby Dick I'm going to share with you a beautiful boat ride through the beautiful Limburg scenery so you can recognize all these beautiful things that Dutch are known for also talking to you about why the banks want to be a custodial service for your bitcoins now and if you should hold all your bitcoins at a bank maybe <clears throat> plan b you know it's time for plan b it's not the b for bank it's the b for bitcoin talking about shapeshift because they now created an amazing mobile app where you can trade your bitcoins litecoins ethereum's true us dollar and many erc20 tokens while you have full access to your private keys and sharing with you guys how now 180 million US dollar worth of Bitcoin has flown into the Ethereum blockchain and how this is possible. All this news guys in today's video. Enjoy the scenery, enjoy the information, enjoy the video. Let's take a walk into this beautiful piece of nature again. Today, guys, I'm going to do a short video. I figured out a new system so I can give you a new video every morning in European time. I figured out I needed to do this because I could see my views dropping tremendously. And I asked um, to my followers, what is the reason you're not watching my videos anymore? And the main reason is that they were used to watch the video at their coffee in the morning and now they sometimes forget to watch these videos later on the day so i started to think on how i could make it possible to create these videos again every day but upload them every day in the morning it's not possible for me to get up in the morning at three o'clock uh, record the video and then edit the video and then upload it before eight um yeah i'm crazy but not that crazy but i figured out a new system which i wanted to test today but I didn't succeed today as yesterday was a crazy busy day and in the evening yesterday I was invited by my niece for some gin tonics and uh, we had some gin tonics so I didn't succeed in doing what I wanted to do so I make a short video today where I talk to you about the Bitcoin price and the news because it's very exciting what is happening but I will roll out this new concept as soon as possible probably tomorrow or the day after so that you will be able to drink your coffee in the morning and watch me talking about Bitcoin blockchain and life let's first start to talk about the Bitcoin price guys the Bitcoin price is around 9500 I think it even went to 9600 yesterday so exactly what I expected to happen in the last couple of videos I told you guys I think we're going to go upwards I held strong to my opinion I didn't go like no we're going to go to 7k I just made one thumbnail are we going to 7k to show you guys that we were not and up to now my TA was correct and we are going up I think we are still in for some more upward movement I think we are going to try to retest the 10k ASAP which means as soon as possible. So I think we will go up a little bit more. Maybe we can fall down again a little bit if you look in the short term. Let's take a look at the short term chart. This one, pop. This is a four hour chart. This chart is showing you this new channel, this uptrend channel we are now acting in. You can see the bottom of the channel is around 9,400 and the top of the channel is around 9,700. Be aware, it's a four hour chart. We did just open a new candle. So we rebounced from the bottom of the channel. And so make sure you understand that the time that I upload the video can be different than you watch it. But we are acting in this channel. So maybe we will go up from here, test the upper line of this channel. That's around 9,700 ish. 
if you zoom out into the charts of course guys to the weekly and to monthly chart it's still as bullish as i am it's still positive all the indicators are still indicating that we will see a next huge bull run the monthly charts are positive the weekly charts are positive so yesterday was a beautiful day for me to take it easy and chill on a beautiful boat trip on the river called damas which flows through the whole south of the netherlands limburg and also crosses my hometown venlo we were invited by our friends Ronnie and Sandra. They own a beautiful boat and then we went with this boat to Romont. It was an amazing day and it's beautiful to be chilling out on this boat in the sun on this river. Of course, always cool things happen during these boat trips. We even saw a boat with the text Plan B like this one. It's time for Plan B. Yeah, you can buy these shirts and you can buy these caps on our website, thebitcoinfamily.com. But this boat was uh, had, the, had the text Plan B on it. It was a small yacht while floating across the mass. Um, you can see the whole Dutch landscape. You can see windmills. You can see castles. You can see all the things that the Netherlands is known for just by cruising on the mass, guys. It was a beautiful trip yesterday. And then we arrived at the restaurant and the restaurant guys was owned also by an old friend of mine uh, Bram, uh, Bram Dost, he also has a catering company and he opened this restaurant in June and guess how he named his restaurant his restaurant was named Moby Dick and of course it was a whale that was representing the logo of the restaurant it was a beautiful restaurant amazing food so Bram thumbs up for the food Bram sorry I need to speak Dutch when I say names Bram <laughs> thumbs up for the food it was amazing I would recommend you guys, if you have a boat or a car, drive to Romont, go to this restaurant, Moby Dick, give a beautiful view of the mass and all the boats on it. And there is this, um, how do you call it? Water ski and wakeboarding circuit where you can hang in these ropes and you can do the wakeboarding. It's a beautiful place to have some lunch, uh, dinner, or organize your event. Yes, I am chilling my friend's place, but it's a really cool place. And of course, if I eat somewhere, where a restaurant is named Moby Dick then probably a whale is going to push the price like yesterday this happened I was eating at Moby Dick and the price of Bitcoin was pushed up to 9,600 US dollar no coincidence that Lisa you know the one that I always share these colorful charts of she always uses Moby Dick as a symbol in her chart as well as a big whale how many coincidences can you have on one day visiting a restaurant called Moby Dick, seeing a chart of Lisa of Moby Dick that is pushing the Bitcoin price up and the Bitcoin price is being pushed up. Just too many coincidences. That's why I love, that's why I believe that coincidence doesn't exist. On the way back and on the way there to Romont, you need to go with your boat into the sluice. I don't know how you say this in English. This is this piece where the river increases in height. So you drive into it and then they flow up this piece of the sluice and then you can drive out of it on the same on the next level of the river and on the way back you do it the other way around so you drive high into the sluice then it re releases the water you go down and then you can continue your trip like three meters lower as you can see in the videos now I edited above this one really cool thing first time for me to drive to a sluice if somebody knows how this calls in English, let me know. I don't even know if other countries in the world use the same system. But if you use the same system, please educate me and let me know how to call the sluice in English. That was the Bitcoin price and the piece of sharing this beautiful Dutch scenery and landscape with you guys. Let's go to the next subject. I read an article that now in the United States it is legal for banks to huddle your bitcoins as a custody service. So the US federal regulations they stated it is now legal for banks to huddle your bitcoins so they become this custody service of you where they hold your private keys. I don't know exactly where all this crypto space is evolving to but these kinds of things I really don't like because it is exactly the banks that were the reason for us to create Bitcoin and to create an alternative to the monetary system that was existing. We want to create an alternative monetary system that is completely discoupled from the banks. So why would we now be happy that the banks become a new sort of custodial service to huddle our Bitcoins? I would never trust my bitcoins and the private keys to a bank 
just do it as it should be done just huddle your bitcoins on a hardware wallet where the private keys are completely yours in your control because the banks have proven many times that when they control the whole monetary system it is not very honest for everybody and the way they have been working has only led to huge financial crashes so why would i trust my bitcoin to a bank while i know that the bitcoin was created to disrupt the whole banking system i hope that when you watch my videos you understand that hodl and it's time for plan b means time for the plan bitcoin not for plan bank it's time for plan bitcoin guys another cool article today guys stated that 180 million us dollar worth of bitcoin has now flowed into the ethereum blockchain huh bitcoins flowing into an ethereum blockchain what are you talking about didi how this is possible i will try to simplify it so many people's hold of the bitcoin of course on the bitcoin blockchain but now a lot of possibilities on the ethereum blockchain are there to stake your cryptocurrencies this is all the decentralized finance industry and all the stable coins and all the projects being built there where you for example use your bitcoins to, to, to stake so you give your bitcoins to another service this service um, uses your bitcoin to invest or to lend out uh, cryptocurrencies loans to other people and for staking your bitcoins at their service they pay you an interest one of these examples is wbtc this is wrapped btc what they do is they get, take your bitcoins and they convert every bitcoin to one wbtc so one wbtc wrapped btc is equal to one bitcoin but by converting your bitcoins into an erc20 token called wbtc you can now use it to stake on many platforms erc20 platforms and by staking your bitcoins there you can earn interest a monthly interest mostly it's yearly interest that's paid weekly so you know you can add up to your staking every week so cumulative staking they call this so you make money by just huddling your bitcoins so this is why now already 180 million dollar worth of bitcoin has flown into the ethereum blockchain so it's stuck over there because you give your bitcoins to these companies that now convert your bitcoin into this wbtc for example and when you want to convert them back then you can back get back your bitcoin and then you give your bitcoin back to the bitcoin blockchain of course so the more this DeFi industry and all these stable coins and the staking mechanisms are getting popular um, on the ethereum blockchain the bigger chance there is that more and more bitcoin holders will convert their bitcoins to a token that they can use to stake one other news guys is that shapeshift announced they have a new wallet a new mobile wallet that allows you to trade cryptocurrencies but you own the crypto keys so let's call it a non-custodial crypto wallet trading app which is really cool so you can hold your bitcoins there you can hold ethereum litecoin digibyte there and you can exchange all these tokens for each other while you still hold the private keys i think it's very cool what shapeshift has done over there i still need to test it i already downloaded the app but i need to still send bitcoins there to test how many fees i need to pay to exchange my bitcoin to litecoin or to any other erc20 token but it is really cool because i think that these kinds of exchanges you know these exchanges where you hold your own private keys are becoming more popular and popular i think they will replace at the end all the exchanges that hold your private keys for example if binance will collapse or if bitrex will collapse i don't think the chances are really big that they can collapse but if they would collapse they hold your private keys so the bitcoins you have on your exchange they can be gone forever like mount gox you know it happened already and it can happen more often if you have your bitcoins on these kinds of apps where you hold your private keys even if this company would break down you still have access to your private keys you still have access to your bitcoin wallets and because you own your private keys so this is a very good development in crypto space more and more projects will create these self-custody apps uh, where you have full access to your private keys while you at the same time are able to trade your bitcoins also to true us dollar i think i don't know if tether is already on it i don't think so but i still need to check everything a little bit but i saw tusd 
um, as a possibility as a stable coin to exchange your bitcoins to and to trade if you want to trade to a us dollar pair that was all the news for today guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video guys please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share it with your communities and even hit the notification bell so you'll be notified on every new video and if you're really up to it then even leave a comment because i love to reply to your comments i want to thank you for watching this video today and hopefully see you tomorrow where i will present to you the new concept so you're able to drink your very tasteful cup of coffee in the morning while you watch my videos again at around eight o'clock in the morning european time thanks for watching guys and see you tomorrow again bye